Hello, welcome to another Vox Commando tutorial. We are just in the process of releasing version 2.138 of Vox Commando, which includes for the first time a plugin for Media Browser and a standard English configuration of commands for Media Browser. So I will show you how to set that up as quickly as possible. We have other tutorials that cover the details of installation in general, so I won't go into too much detail. But for starters, you will need to download version 2.138 or later of Vox Commando. And you should start by just making sure that you have a media browser server running on your local area network and that you have a user set up that has access to that server. So I've got one that I'll be using today called test and it's allowed to access and browse everything and created a simple password as well, which is also test and I'll be using that. The other thing that you should do is to make sure that you have a client running so that as soon as we install Vox Commando, we can test our connection to the server and to the client. So you should have at least one client open. So I'll leave this running and just minimize it for now. And I'll double click the installer and go through these menus pretty quickly. I'll agree to them all. And just point out that you should not save to program files. This is a portable install. You can install it anywhere. Uh, and you can make multiple copies for different installations in different folders, but don't put it in a protect protected area because then it will be prevented from writing files to its own directories. So uh, the installation is pretty straightforward and then you run Vox Commando and normally you would choose the standard unless you want to use a language that isn't supported by the uh, regular desktop speech recognition in Windows. So here, this is an important step. You do need to select the media browser configuration. So to get started with the default commands, you would choose media browser. So I have two screens here and my windows are all popping up on the other screen. So when you first start Vox Commando, you'll ha be asked to create a firewall exception, which you should do, allow access. And now Vox Commando is running. And you'll notice that by default, we have two plugins enabled. So TTS is always enabled by default. And if you want to use a different voice right off the bat. Hello, I am Bridget. You can say Pleased that. to meet you. But the important thing now is that we go into our plugins MB3 options. And here you'll want to start by entering your username and password that correspond to the account on the server you want to use. Save your options and then you can find servers. You'll notice here that it had already uh, looked for and found a server but it's getting an authentication error. So now that we've entered our username, username and password we should be able to click find servers again and it'll turn green showing that it found the server. This is a tree which will show all of the valid clients that are connected to the server. So we can select the client. Connected to dashboard. And now it's actually automatically connected to that client when we clicked it and it's entered the information that we need to connect. Now I'll click save options again so that next time I start Vox Commando, it'll automatically do all of this for me. However, I'll point out now that the preferred device and the preferred client don't need to be full strings and they don't both need to be used either. So if I want to make it more flexible, I could say oh, I only want to connect to Chrome clients, but I don't care what version it is. Or you could say, I only want to, I want to connect to any dashboard that I can find. So any client that, whose name contains dashboard, it'll connect to the first one that it finds. 
And since we're connected to the server, now we can generate XML and this will scan the server or request information from the server about all of your movies, songs, etc. So I'll do that. And it'll work in the background. It'll generate some events based on what it finds. And it does take a while. When it generates the music event, because the music generally takes longer, it'll then automatically rebuild your voice commands. So everything is actually done now. The only step really is to test it. Uh, in order to do that, you need to know what the voice commands are. And uh, you'd also want to be able to see your dashboard again to make sure that it's working. So I'll bring this back and I'll just do a couple really quick tests, starting with show help. These are all of the voice commands for this configuration. So this is important. If you've never used this configuration before, this will tell you what you can say. Browse music. Browse movies. Go to my television. Browse songs by Adam Sandler. Showing artist Adam Sandler. Go home. Go to settings. Go home. Browse movies. Find adventure movies. Browse genre acid jazz. You can explore the rest of the commands. That's pretty much all there is to it. I should also point out that we do have extensive wiki documentation and we do have a page for Media Browser. So if you go to voxcommando.com and you go to support wiki. You can do a search for media browser here, or probably you can do a Google search for Vox Commando media browser and you'll find this page. And we'll be updating this now that once we've made the release, we'll be updating the information here to filling in the video here, for example, which I have not made. So good luck with it. Um, we're happy to receive feedback either on the Vox Commando forum or on the Media Browser forum. There's already a thread there. So uh, have fun and let us know what you think. And we look forward to adding new improvements and working out the bugs since this is a, a new release. Thanks for watching.